All right, real quick, before I get started, an update to my year in review. For some reason, I forgot to show this uh, Tom Brady rookie card from 2000 Upper Deck. Uh, I bought this off eBay in February for around $800, just as it started creeping up in price. And by year's end, it settled in around, I'd say, 2500 which, you know, I think is still a pretty good value considering, uh, you know, it's a major rookie card of probably the greatest quarterback of all time. And the Bowman equivalent goes for, you know, the Bowman Chrome equivalent goes for close to $10,000, um, 8 to 10, and the Bowman paper about half of that. So, you know, to get a star rookie from Upper Deck, you know, for $2,000, uh, I think is a pretty good value still. And maybe the lack of popularity is due to the fact that it's the sweatpants image. Um, but it's a nice card. And, um, yeah, I still think there's a lot of room for potential on this one. So, Anyway, that's that. And on to uh, the topic at hand here. Uh, more misfires uh, in my collection from years past. I was able to collate another stack of raw cards, some graded, and um, some, of these, some of these are more egregious than the last batch I showed. So let's start off with this Manny Benuelos rookie card from Bowman Chrome. This is a refractor auto, and uh, Manny Benuelos didn't quite work out. Um, was a left-handed pitching prospect that I think they got from Mexico. And, um, you know, just one of those things. He was highly touted, you know, was going to join the starting rotation. It was untouchable in trade chatter, things like that, and just never never worked out. Um, kind of like this next guy, unfortunately, and this might have to do with, you know, he had some arm injuries and things like that. This was a fair trade. Uh, looking back on it, uh, Michael Pineda for Jesus Montero, um, at least Pineda's still playing baseball and probably could pull it together. Uh, I think he's got another year left on his contract with Minnesota, and he's healthy, I think, this year. So these are, I'm not sure if they're the gold version, the gold border version, but they're non-auto. And um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> so six Pineda rookie cards that I forgot I had bought. And also in that Pineda Montero trade was this throw in from the Mariners, who actually I was excited about too, was Jose Campos, um, another Bowman Chrome Refractor Auto. And this guy threw pretty hard, but he had some elbow issues and, you know, once again, just, just didn't work out. Um, all right, moving on. I don't know if this was necessarily prospecting at the time. I think Brett Gardner was already in the league for a few years before I decided to go all in and buy a 10 count lot of his Bowman Chrome rookie. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten Bowman Chrome Brett Gardner's. Um, nice card. Just don't know if I need ten of them. Um, yeah, so there was that. And then there's this. Who remembers this guy? Jabba Chamberlain. E-Tops auto. Autographed on card. Number to something. Maybe 99. And I think I paid like 99 bucks for this card. And... Uh, well, I don't know if Jabba's even in baseball anymore, but who could forget that playoff game with the Indians where he was spitting bugs out of his mouth and it was like, my God, just delay the game already. And they pitched, you know, he had to pitch through it and it definitely impacted his ability to throw the ball and they ended up losing that in the playoffs. And anyway, uh, all right. Um, I don't know, too early to call this one. I think, yeah, I'd love to see a full season uh, for this guy. Uh, Clint Frazier, Bowman Chrome, Refractor Auto from 2013. I mean, this guy could hit, and he seemed to play pretty well last year in a small sample size. So, I mean, I hope they could find time for this guy. Um, I mean, he's been around a few years now. He's not so much a prospect anymore. I think he's, what, 25, um, 25, 26? So maybe too early to call on Clint Frazier. Um, and to a lesser extent, maybe this guy as well, David Price. This was around 50 bucks or so back when I picked it up, you know, on card auto, prospect auto. Um, Price has been beset by injuries the last few years, and um, yeah. So, uh, okay. So this was um, this was a shame. This is not only a beautiful card, the beautiful signature, and this guy. What happened to Hanley Ramirez? Bowman Chrome Auto Mint Nine. I paid one seventy five for this card, and I don't think I can get twenty bucks for it today. In fact, if the card wasn't so nice looking, I'd probably throw it in my kid's toy box. Um, but yeah, Hanley looked real good, and then you know just. You just never know with these guys, you know, whether it's uh, going to be Alex Bregman or Louise Robert or Vlad Jr. and Bo Bichette, all these guys that we're talking about today. It's like it could be the next uh, Hanley or even the next uh, Evan Longoria, who, you know, definitely is no slouch, but he is not the player he was, say, 10 years ago. Um, still a good ball player. 
but you know, definitely has fallen out of favor in, within the hobby. I paid one sixty for this card. Um, I mean, what is this? Maybe a is this a fifty dollar card these days? I don't know. Evan Longoria Chrome Auto and a nine. And uh, oh, this next one, I I definitely recall putting an offer in on this and kind of immediately regretting it. And then for whatever reason, I didn't retract the offer, which I think I, maybe you couldn't at the time, or maybe I just didn't. But uh, I think he had another offer he was considering, and I put in 195 for this, and yeah, I, I won. And it's the Jose Reyes refractor from 2001. I mean, this guy was a great player, but just, um, I think what happens is he got traded to the Marlins. And I mean, after what? When was that? He won the batting title in 07, right? No, not 07. When the hell did he win the batting title? Anyway, whatever. It's Jose Reyes, Bowman Chrome, Refractor that I paid one ninety five, close to two hundred bucks for, and now it's maybe maybe a twenty dollar card. And um one final I don't know, maybe this one's too too early early to call as well. It's a football card uh that I forgot I had. And I like this card. Um at the time I purchased it, it, it was justifiable, the the one hundred and twenty bucks I think it was. It's number to 15. It's a mini uh, sticker auto of Todd Gurley. And when I purchased this, he was just tearing it up. He had like uh, you know, almost 2,000 yards rushing or something one year, a couple years in a row maybe. Um, and he had a pretty good year the last couple of years too, but not 1,000-yard rushing, you know, like six, 700 yards I think. Um, he's still young. I think he's only like 26. So, um, you know, he still has a few good years left in him. So we'll see what he can do. But uh, – yeah, I couldn't get a comp on this because it's so limited. It's again, there's only 15 of these, but I don't think if I were to sell it today, I would get $115 for this. But uh, there you go, doing some more digging uh, and consolidating of my card collection, and I came across these, and I thought it was enough material to put together for a follow-up video. And uh, your thoughts? Feel free to comment down below. Till next time, that'll do it.